Hi everyone and welcome back to part 32. So in this video, we are going to discuss how to implement voice calling in our chat. So let me start with the visual representation of how we are going to actually achieve it. So here, as you can see, I have divided whole audio call into two parts. So there will be certain actions that we are going to perform, such as joining and leaving the room. By room, I mean a context in which conversation is going to happen. Okay. So in this room, the two users are going to log in, or you can say join, and after that they will be sending, or you can say exchanging audio streams. So these are the actions that we are going to handle via third-party API, which is called Zero Cloud. Okay. So this is what we are going to cover in this video. Then in the next video, we are going to cover things like sending and receiving call notification. Also, we'll be creating logs on our DB, like when the call started, who was, who are the participants in the call, and things like that. So that is going to be handled using socket.io, and it will be discussed in part two of audio call. Now. Let's also discuss our use case, okay? What we are basically trying to achieve via voice call in our app. So in our case, we are going to just implement conversation between two users. So for example, let's say we have user one and user two. And one of these users is actually going to start a call. So in this case, let's assume that is user one. So when this user is going to start a call, then what is going to happen? The first thing is, we'll send a notification to the other user, that is user two in this case, okay? And on the user two screen, there is going to be a dialog box which will appear with two options, whether to accept the call or deny. Okay. Now, based on if the user two accepts the call or deny the call, let's see what is going to happen. In case this user denies the call, then it's pretty much simple. We are going to basically emit an event call underscore deny. Okay. And this is going to basically disconnect the call for both of the users, and a log will be created that the call was actually made but was not received. Then, in the other case, what is going to happen when this user one started call, then in the background, this user is already logged into a room, okay, and he has already started sharing his audio stream. Then, the user two is also going to join the same room, okay, and then this user is also going to start sending his audio stream. So that is how the communication is going to happen between two users. So that is just the high level overview. Okay. Now before I explain how we are going to actually achieve it in terms of code, we'll have to create our account on Zero Cloud. So let me explain you how you can do that. So first thing that you can do is visit zerocloud.com. Zero Cloud is a very powerful third-party API which you can use to build functionalities like chat, audio and video, and also live streaming. So you can actually export their products here. So they have different kinds of products that can be very useful in building real-time applications, okay? And I really love their API, okay? Because this is very scalable and many different companies are already using it. So that is why I'm teaching you this API because it can be useful for your personal projects as well as for your professional projects. So, in our case, we are just going to need this voice call API for now. Okay, so what I would like to suggest you is to go to this developers tab, click on the documentation. Okay, then on their documentation page, just go to voice call. Now, here, what we need to do is select this web option. Okay, and here you can actually see how we are going to implement it. So, you can just open up this implement a basic voice call. Okay, and here we have all of the code, or you can say they have explained it very nicely how the call is actually going to happen between our two users. Okay. So I'm also going to explain this to you. And we have already implemented this whole logic inside of our app, and the code is already pulled together. You can just go and pull all of the changes. Okay. What you would need to do is to create your own Zero Cloud account and change the credentials like app ID, okay, server secret, server URL. So I'm going to explain you how to do that. So I hope everything is clear till now. So let's actually go back to Zero Cloud. Then please go and create your account. Okay, sign up on their platform. After you do that, you will be presented with this screen. Okay. Then the next thing that you would have to do is to create your project. 
and before creating the project let me also give you an idea about their billing so they actually provide 10000 minutes of free audio and video call but that is only valid for the 30 days after you sign up but in app chat functionality is free forever up to 100 users okay by 100 i mean 100 monthly active users and for group chat messaging uh, it is up to 200 users so that is their pricing model okay so we are going to we are not actually going to pay any price in order to just build our app but if you are going to use it for a business or your personal project okay that you are actually going to host and use it somewhere then you'll have to basically start billing so let's now actually go ahead with creating your project okay so just click on plus button and after that just select this first option which is voice and video call and then we are not actually going to add any of the other products okay but you can do that later on inside your project if needed so then the next step is just click on this next button as you can see here then you just have to label your project give it a name here i can just call it voice call okay and here they are saying that there should be no space so let me just fix that and after that they are suggesting that we can actually start building our app in two ways the first one is to use their ui kits so ui kits is the pre made ui along with the logic okay you just have to write minimal amount of code in order to build using ui kits but in our case we have our own ui and we just need the back end functionality so that is why we are going to use their sdk okay so i'm just going to click on this button orange button to start with custom sdks okay now after you do this it's going to take a little bit amount of time to create your project so let's come back after our project is created okay so after our project is created as you can see i'm just going to open up this voice call project that we just created then you can actually see that we have few credentials here this app id is what you are going to need okay and you are also going to need your server secret and server url okay so let me actually show you where we are going to actually need this so if you just pull up all of the changes on github okay so this is our front end project we need to go inside source directory and then inside sections and dashboard here you can see we have a file called call dialog.js okay and if you just scroll to the top then you can see we are going to need our app id and also our server url okay so this is the server url and this is the app id please make sure that you are placing your app id as a number otherwise there will be an error okay so you can actually find that inside your google cloud dashboard okay as you can see this is our server url and this is our app id and on the back end we are actually going to create some kind of token that is what users are going to use in order to log into the server okay so for that i have created this file inside controllers that is called jigo server assistant and here as you can see we are actually going to need two things the first one is going to be our jigo app id and jigo server key please use your own okay i am just going to remove these this is just for an example purpose okay these credentials are not going to be of any use after this video okay so you can just actually put them here like this okay after pulling all of the changes and then you can basically start your client side as well as server side and this call is actually going to work that means the two users will be able to exchange voice okay through zigo cloud api now after all of this is clear let's now actually discuss the actual flow that is going to happen behind the scene in order to implement this voice calling so for that we have this flow okay there are two parts the first one is our app okay that is the client side and the second thing is our zigo cloud sdk so what is going to happen the first thing that we need to do is to create an engine by engine i mean an instance of zigo cloud sdk okay and so that we can actually call various methods in order to perform many actions that you can see here okay now after you create your zigo cloud engine let me also explain that to you with the code so here you can see we are creating the zigo cloud instance okay you just need to pass the credentials properly here after that we'll be checking the browser's compatibility 
This step is to make sure that our browser is capable of exchanging audio and video streams. Okay. So after you check the browser's compatibility, then we are going to actually allow the user to log in to it. So here, room you can say it's a confined zone in which two users are going to come in. Okay, and then they'll be able to communicate with each other. Now for each room, there is going to be a unique ID. Okay, and I have already implemented that logic inside, so you can just go ahead and look for it. Then after the two users are able to log into the room, then we'll actually start to create their stream using Zero Cloud, and then we'll start publishing it so that the other user can subscribe to that stream, or you can say start receiving the stream, and then the two users will be playing each other's stream, and that is how the call is actually going to happen. But how we are actually going to know that the other user has started publishing their audio stream or the other user has joined. So for those things, we are going to actually set up various callbacks as you can see. So we are going to actually set up callback for room, user and streaming status update. Okay. We are also going to set up some callbacks for our local audio stream that we are publishing. Okay. And similarly for the remote audio stream that we are going to receive. So that is the flow of how the call is going to actually start. Now, in order to basically exit the call flow, there are going to be three steps that we will be following. Okay, so so we just have to first of all stop playing the stream, okay, both local as well as the remote stream, and then we'll stop publishing that stream. And then the last step will be to just log out of the room, okay, and then here our call flow ends. But between this call flow, there are also going to be some other important steps like sending the call notification okay and when the call is received like logging the other user in so those are all the actions that will be handled using socket.io as i just explained okay so we are going to look at it in the next part okay the code will already be provided before i post the next video so you can just actually join our discord channel for updates on that if you found this video helpful then please make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel that is going to help with the YouTube algorithm. Please also let me know your feedback in the comments. So that's it for this video. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Thank you for watching.